Previously on the LCS. Shockwave! Oh my god, will they get piercing? Yes, they will! Dignitas to take the match! <laughs> Logic Gaming in 32 minutes takes down LMT. Three person shockwave back into the fight with Cataclysm. Four is going to be there down to low HP. Congratulations to LMT. They traded back and forth. This wow. may have been a mistake. Trepo is now ready to go on this one. Alltech turns for the last shot. Welcome to week six of the North American League Championship Series. We're coming to you live in front of this amazing audience from our studios here in the proud state of California. I am Rivington Bizzle the third, and with me is the double lift to my app remove, Joshua Jett Leesman. I'm taking that as common, Riv. It is good to be back, <laughs> and we have an exciting lineup of games this week. And we are quickly approaching the halfway point of the summer split, and the road to World Finals is still wide open. Yeah, this may be the most competitive North American LCS has ever been. I mean, for example, last week was the first time that every team finished a week at 1-1. One and, one. and we have yep. also never been this late into a split with the top five teams only being separated by one game. It just makes every game critically important because people all want to break away from the pack. Yeah, that shakeup may come this week, thanks in part to the 4.10 patch, and every lane will be feeling those effects. Yeah, teams were just starting to settle into their new lineups this split, and the new patch is going to be a huge opportunity for teams that historically value adaptation, like Cloud9, for instance, to pick up some wins over teams that tend to be a little bit slower at adjusting yeah. to big changes. Absolutely. Over in Europe, they've just concluded their first week on the new patch. So let's pull up some of your favorite moments with the hashtag LCS Big Plays. Yeah, one of those big plays are from Millennium versus SK at the Odd Blue Jay wrote Cotnex on Candy Panda. That was so good, I don't even know what to say. Here's your number three. There's no call there quick enough. There's another minion wave coming in. Oh, Candy Panda! Right? Candy Panda out of position! What are you doing? Hits and bounce! That is it! So as soon as Cotnex went in, landed a Sonic Wave onto Freddy, he knew I can get Candy Panda, kicks him back, he's instantly dead here. Easy peasy. That wasn't the only yeah. time that happened. It was a bad day for Candy Panda. Easy peasy. No friendly places for Kog'Ma. you got to be <laughs> safe when you're on Kog'Ma. Maybe you yep. stand behind the tanks. Yeah, yeah, Step maybe, up. if you can. Then from Alliance versus Rocket, it's Wicked with the Wicked Survival Skills at Pablo F. M. Tenez. You shall not pass, Wicked 2014. Let's roll your number two. Yankos is definitely going to force Goden towards it. Zazas is playing this one very coy. That Counter-Strike will land. The stun comes in. The Cocoon comes in. He's going to try and use the Blade Surge onto you. Oh, Yankos. Yankos comes through. He gets well oh, no, in. No, he survives. Zazas backed away. Stuns him in tower range, and they didn't have the follow-up. Wicked should have gone down there. Great play. Yep. Wicked should have gone down yeah. there. I mean, Zazas did have his flash up, but... Wiki didn't die. Finally, it's Fnatic versus the Super Hot Crew at Real Matt Roach says, I'm about to dismantle one of the top teams in EU, but first, let me take a selfie. Here's your number one. Impale is full HP. He could be doing damage here as the rest of the Super Hot Crew. Come in the knock of the ultimate. He absolutely destroys them. But what a turnaround fight for the Super Hot Crew there. He just got shredded. Very good ultimate from selfie. Just one of those grin ear to ear moments when yeah. you see all those low health bars as Yasuo. One keep. What? Just one cue. Yeah, I saw two people. Or that was so fast when you hear what you said, just yeah. like the cues. Keep sharing your favorite moments from today's games to the global system of interconnected computer networks called the interwebs. Tweet us at LOL Esports. Use the hashtag LCSBigPlays. For now, we're going to check the scoreboard to see the teams, how they are lined up in Europe. Pulling away in first, it's Alliance. Yep, and then in second, it is SK Gaming, followed by Surprise Millennium in third. And tied for fourth, Super Hot Crew and Fnatic. And back over here in the colonies, it's a three-way tie for first with LMQ, CLG, and Dignitas. And surprisingly still in fourth place, it is Cloud9 tied with TSM. And then mm. three games back, it's Kirsten sixth place with 
Complexity and EG sharing last. That is right. And starting off our four matches today, we have a classic showdown with Team Solo Mid versus CLG. Start things off, then Complexity will face off against Cloud9. After that, Evil Geniuses battled out with Curse, followed by a battle for first place with Dignitas versus LMQ. Indeed. And be sure to head over to LOLEsports.com and vote for who you think will win today's matches. Click on Schedule, go to Week 6, and start locking in your picks. Yeah, and then stay a while and read up on all your favorite teams and players with stats, box scores, or just rewatch all the games from this year. That's right. Also there, you can reserve your spot to join our studio audience. Click on the tickets link for all the details. For now, we're going to send it things over to Freak and Kobe at the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Riff. What's up, guys? I'm David Freak Turley. Alongside me is Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler. Do you want to be after we're double this one? Uh, I'm going to be different bot lane? Kobe, and you can be LeBron. How about that? Okay. Different teams. I'll be the real king. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the two of us decided to do some community service today. And as part of that, we want to break down a few of the players that will be watching this week. Starting with Medios. So far, he has only won games when playing as Lee Sin, the blind monk. And he's actually winless on every other champion. So if Cloud9 wants to reclaim their spot at the top of the standings, they're going to need Medios to step up. Yeah, and while Medios has had success on one champion, Helios has shown a deep champion pool with picks like Nunu. We'll see what champions he pulls out next with a new patch taking effect. And then from Curse, it's Quas in the top lane. He had a big week last time around and helped his team uh, take down first place CLG. Now in 4.10, we expect a sort of resurgence of 1v1s in the top lane, which is actually a big strength of Quas. And with a relatively easier schedule this week, this really could be his time to shine. Another player who could do very well is Cutie Pie. He's already been a fan of some of the items, such as Ghostblade that got buffed starting today, and Dignitas are going to face CLG and LMQ this week. So they'll happily take any edge they can get to fight to hold on to first place. If they win those, they're actually guaranteed to just have first no matter what, so see if they can do it. Finally, it's Complexity's jungler, Kez. Now, oddly, Complexity has found most of their wins over the top teams in the league. Just last week, 8th place Complexity took down 1st place Dignitas in a decisive match. And they're going to see if they can keep that momentum on their side as they face off against Cloud9. Complexity uh, is 1-0 against them. Actually, they're 2-0 against their opponents this week. Yeah, interesting how things work out that way. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they can do it. Of course, now in a split with 112 games, you can't lose track of how important every single game is. And the LCS preview show recently caught up with TSM's new coach, Loco Doko, who had a first-hand lesson in just how high the stakes can be in the LCS when they recently lost a friendly wager with Dignitas' coach, Skara. The nice Dignitas poll. Thank you, Josie. Right. Don't go too short. Here. Mm -hmm. We can always Have you done this hair before, gross. Erickson? Uh, maybe great. like once or twice. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Straight across the front. Make it look good. All right. There you go. Get aggressive like level one. Right inside. <laughs> there it is. There's a flash ignite. Right. That's what we're looking it's for. It's actually a pretty good first cut. It it's was. a little short. Maybe. It's nice. What do you think, Chelsea? I think. You got a nod from the terrorist. It's looking pilots. pretty good. Absolutely. Looking pretty good. All right. Beautiful job. <laughs> Loco Doco looked like he was about to shed a tear there almost. Uh, you know, it's okay. He. It was, it was a bold bet that he made, but you know, it didn't pay off. Well, Freak, uh, I actually didn't think it looked that bad. You know what they say? Beauty is in the eye of the bull holder. <laughs> <laughs> it was certainly a beautiful haircut. All right, guys, inspired by Loco's new do, we're asking you guys, how do you show support for your favorite North American LCS team? Tattoos, haircuts, signs, shrines, cosplay, they're all welcome. Yeah, send your answers or your pictures to at LO Esports, and you have to add that part at LOL Esports if you're sending pictures. So use uh, the hashtag LCS as well so that we can share your responses later in the show. All right, so you can, of course, catch more of these hard-hitting investigative reports every week on the LCS preview show. And because next week is a supersized serving of league action, you can actually tune in on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time and 5.30 p.m. Central European summertime to catch up on all of the news from the week. Yeah, exactly. So we've got to take a quick break, but before we go, uh, of course, we're going to kick off our, our first game soon, TSM for CLG. But as we're leaving, let's check out what the pros have been saying this week with the All Chat. I shoot, if you win, you get two stakes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can buy two stakes anyway. Wanna play some A Rams? Do it, do it, do it, do it. But, 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 Morgana, first pick. It worked out. There is more Alliance fans here than there is oh, yeah, SK no fans. Bro, again, bro, again. I might as well be in a boy band. Who's gonna tank? I don't know. 
No, we can't, we can't, we can't. No, and then there's a trap. Oh. You can't walk on trap. You can't walk on trap. What the fuck? We can nest with this, we can nest. Else you have small plays. They have no jinx all through, it's pretty big. Yep. Just give it up then. I got it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, you're a fucking god. Is anyone super low? No. I have ulti still. Lucian flash, so time that flash. Nice. Nice. Oh, holy shit. Bow cut! Bow cut! Bow cut! Bow cut! cut. Okay. They've stopped bullying us. Yeah. Bullying. Yeah. <laughs> Stop uh, making us think we're weird, Niff. Cream a Donna girl. Yeah. All I ever wanted was the world. On three, we're gonna sing happy birthday to Helios. Okay. On three, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Ice ball. I'm grabbing the wave. Right. Give me kill, give me kill. Okay. You get. Nice. nice. Top tower, top tower. Hey, give me kill, give me kill, give me kill. Stay on shifter, stay on shifter. Stay on shifter, stay on shifter. I'm on shifter. I'm crossing the house. Come on, come on. Nice. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. Nice. Nice, nice. Go, go, go. Oh. Nice. nice! Good job. Good job, good job man. You know what, Qua? Someone's always gonna be ahead. And Someone's always so gonna happens, have your number. It just so life. happens that it's your enemy every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I wanna retire. <laughs>